Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates house. There are a ton of items here, but I have to hurry up because I've already wasted almost all of my day going and finding these things. I'm supposed to be actually working on the spring market things and I'm not. So yeah, there's that. So we're going to dive in and see what I found at Dollar Tree today. Alma called me last night and she was like, girl, do you know what they got? And I was like, what do they got? Please don't tell me it's what I went to go look for for the entire day the other day. I went to like six different locations and didn't find. And guess what? That's exactly what it was. But it's okay because I went, I was there like 10 seconds before the doors even opened because I was not even playing today. And I know a lot more stuff is supposed to come out. So there's that. I am going to dive in. P.S. We have a new phone. So I don't know how this thing works. It seems like super ultra mega fancy to me. We went through a whole situation to actually get it here. It was frustrating and stressful, but I was so excited that I could finally record again with you guys and do Dollar Tree hauls and things. So we are going to get started with the smaller items. First item I picked up were the Crafter Square 24 count clothespins. Super self-explanatory, just the wood clothespins. I actually picked these up to pair them for the spring market. It is to hang the little garland that I made using the Dollar Tree Easter carrot wood pieces and the little chicky wood pieces. We burn them, burn them, and then I cut out the word spring with HTV, which is the heat transfer, and pretty much pressed it on there with the heat press. So yeah, it's super cute. They are wood burned. I did black and white letters, and then I put them together with the baker's twine and then the regular jute twine, and it's absolutely adorable. They were a hit. I only have four left. I think I have two black and two white. So I'm just gonna hang those up and sell them. Speaking of wood or like faux wood, I created two displays on a budget, of course, and I wanted to hang some hooks from the side of the bookshelves that I'm gonna be using. And I love the faux wood removable hooks. It says that they hold up to three pounds. I don't know. I use them right now for my Cricut mats and they do just fine, but that's on a slick surface. So I don't know how they're gonna hold up being stuck to paint. I think if anything, this is a plastic. So you could actually put like a photo, like one of those really small photo nails into it and it should make it more of a permanent solution. So I might do that to make sure that what I hang on there doesn't fall because I'm putting up vintage items in this sale. Don't want them to fall and break. So there's that. I picked up four packs of these. I actually already have four packs. Next, I have the Crafter Square clamps. I actually have the small clamps like this. I have never seen these super big clamps. I think these are fantastic for junk journals when you want to hold whatever it is that you have adhesive on and make sure it stays together, all of that stuff. And it's a two count, but this was the only one and I found it like randomly thrown somewhere in the store and I was like, what the heck? And I went back to the aisle and I didn't see anymore. Next, I did pick up one washi tape. I actually don't pick up washi too often anymore. I have a massive collection of it and I just don't wanna waste anymore. So I did pick up one with the little pink florals and the little green leaves. That was the only one and it has a pretty like navy blue background on it. I really like that one. I picked up a pack of 300 count tacks. Now this is pretty self-explanatory on what it is, but I actually see it for something else in my mind. So I did pick them up and I'm gonna probably do a super quick DIY with that. And then I have the 80 count paper clips. They are the larger clips. And these are actually going to be repurposed on the display because on the back of the bookshelves that I bought, I I bought two black bookshelves. They were black and I painted them white and kind of like a brush style so that you can still see some of that black peeking through. I will distress a little bit of it and the backing, I didn't put the black backing that comes on with them, you know. I put on a chicken wire as I do all of my cabinets. All of my cabinets are chicken wire so that way you can get the light in through the windows. You can check out all the furniture that we do at Bates House uh, DIY and Bates House Workshop on Instagram, Facebook, all that. So on the display, I will have like tea cups or mugs or something like that. Or uh, I have a coffee pot set that I will be putting the, the pot and then I'll hang some of the mugs and then put the plates together to make like a little cute display. So that's what these are gonna be for. I'll hang on the chicken wire and I'll just turn the one side and hook the cup onto it. Next, also for the spring market, I picked up labels 
it's just a 20 count craft paper style label set. I've never seen these before, but I thought they looked very nice. So I did pick up two. They are like, they have a really nice weight to them. And if you have kids that do any writing and stuff, they have multiple colors that you could add into their craft kits or their school supplies or whatever. And it comes with three erasers in there. It's a retractable eraser, nothing brand new like to the world, but it's adorable, especially for your craft stash. I am gonna be keeping one in my office because it matches my gray and silver kind of shimmery blades that I get from Daiso that will also be in the giveaway. And then I'll keep one in my shipping area. I just thought these were really nice. They're very pretty, actually very well put together. And they come with two additional refills. So yeah, there's that. And don't mind my nails, <laughs> it was painting. Next, I picked up two of the chalk writers. These are craft decor chalk pens. We already all know these, these are fantastic. I use these in all of the different colors for the different seasons. I have a huge chalkboard that I like to write on whenever I do a hot chocolate bar or an Easter setup or something Christmas related or whatever. If there's an event, I'll draw and do all kinds of stuff on the chalkboard and change it up for the seasons, add like those uh, like window clings and stuff to it. And then I'll use these, but I'm gonna be keeping one for the front of the house and I'm taking one with me to the market sale. Next, for my craft room, I picked up about eight of these because they're black, black succulents. Like, oh my gosh, they have their own little clippies that you can clip them to different things. But I absolutely adore the color black and then gray and then like grayish black. <laughs> It's my absolute most favorite color. It's my spirit color. And I think it's fantastic that they have black succulents at Dollar Tree. So I did pick up about eight of these to put into my craft room. It's a combination of gray, white, and vintage. And I feel like black accents really, really look cute. So there's that. Found some of these. Alma actually told me about these. So I kept an eye out while I was there. They are paint perfect edge makers. And it says that they are accurate detail cutting in for decorating and painting. And like I said, I do a lot of furniture. I do hashtag refurbish furniture. I do client furniture. I find furniture on marketplace. I upcycle a lot of it and then I don't want to let it go. And so I do my own furniture, but there's that super cute. I do have an organization series for the Bates house. Some of that stuff needs to be updated because like my baking area is now in here and it's expanded and it's my favorite place in the world. I have put in a seating area in here and I show this one all the time on Instagram because like it's a total vibe. Look at this, look at this gorgeous table. Like this is what I like to surround myself with. We have our Farm Fresh Bates Family Farm eggs here. We have the wedding flowers that Boogie Jack from the wedding centerpieces. Like, I love creating a vibe. So for me, this is my absolute most favorite space. I use everything in it and I have a full organization series on the different things. And I show you the furniture that I've done in those videos. So feel free to check it out. It's a full playlist. I have these, if you're like me and you got thick hair, it's super easy to bust through about 47% of a new pack of hair ties because as soon as you go to put them in that third time, pop, and they're done. So I was super excited to see these because this is the kind of hair tie that I need. If I got a really good hair tie, it usually ends up looking like this anyway by the time like I break it in. So this is awesome. It's the Goody Brand 10 piece ouchless hair ties for thick hair. Just to stick to another beauty item, I found the Lux Studio five piece eye kit contains Curler, point tip tweezers, brow lash spoolie, two-way compact mirror, and a carrying case. I saw them and I was like, that's pretty cool for a dollar, especially with Mother's Day right around the corner. And if your mom is anything like my mom, she likes all of the cosmetic things ever. I did pick up one for myself. That's why I'm carrying this one up because it's for me. And then I picked up one for my mom. So it looks like this. It's a copper style, which is beautiful, number one. Looks like that, very pretty with your black band in there. And then you have your copper tweezers. It's really hard to get out, hold on, hold on. P.S. I got a new phone and I went through, we went through like hell to get it. Actually the hubby was like, whew. I've never, I've only seen the hubby angry maybe twice. 
since we've been married. And so in 10 years, I've seen him angry maybe twice. And he was angry. <laughs> He was angry because there was some shady stuff going on with us getting this phone and it was just, it was so frustrating because initially it was supposed to be a surprise and then so they ruined the surprise and then like he had to tell me everything because it didn't show up and then he was concerned and then he had to rebuy it and like how do you hide that from the bank and so it was a big, big, big deal and now we're still dealing with the whole situation to get our money back and it was a mess but I'm so happy. Okay, so here goes the little compact mirror. It's also a gorgeous, adorable copper color. Copper is one of my faves. Look, if I put a reflection up there, you can probably see my copper pans because I love little copper accents. So I think this is super cute. And then you have your little brush here with the spoolie, which is actually a functional thing. I use both of these tools on a daily. I have an eyeshadow brush that has a little spoolie like this. And then I actually use these for my eyebrows. So yeah, I think that is a functional little tool that you can actually get use out of because you know how they like to give you a bunch of junk you're not gonna use. These look pretty cool. They are copper tweezers, super pretty as well. Like I'm very surprised at the quality. Like I feel like I would go over to the 99 cent store across the street and find this for about three to four bucks. So to get them all for a dollar, I think that is pretty cool. And you get this gorgeous teal, like metallic-y bag. Like, I don't know how that coordinates at all, but it's still pretty cute. Very summer vibes, right? Cricket summer vibes. Another thing that I picked up is this here. It is the nice large candy jar. Now this is not a small candy jar that you find in glass for $1 at Dollar Tree that sits on its side or it sits straight up. This is a larger jar and it's pretty awesome, but it is a party supplies item. So it's a thin plastic, but I am one that can tell you if you take care of it, they will last you. I actually picked up the ones that are kind of rectangular with the scalloped edge with the scoops and stuff like that. And I've used those several times over the past few years and I make sure that I take them and I store them away and then I'll break them out for whatever's next. Just don't store them in your attic because this plastic is not like heat resistant. If it changes temperature or if the temperature fluctuates from one extreme to another, you're gonna get a super brittle plastic and it's just gonna crumble. So keep them somewhere like in a closet or in a storage area that is temperature controlled or like somewhere in the house. I did pick up six of these because I know I will use them. I found these really cute notepads or sticky note sets by Jot. Jot is like awesome. So Crafter Square and Jot are just really great companies however related to Dollar Tree that really do try to put out a quality item for the price. Because mind you, you can go somewhere and pay $8 for a hole punch, but can you get a dollar punch from Dollar Tree that actually works? Yes, yes you can. Because I've done many planner videos with their supplies and it's all awesome. Well, not all, but like the stuff that you are selective about, it's worth the dollar. So this is one of the Mother's Day kits that they are putting out. It's just a travel notepad has the long sheet and then it has all of your little page flags. Now I'll leave a clip after this to show you guys what all three of them look like. They had the pink dotted one that matches the new Traveler's Notebooks that are out. Anyway, there's three different styles. I wanted to pick up the pink one, but I was like, you know what? I just purged out of my office. I'm only going to grab two of the ones that I know I absolutely love, which are these two. It's the greens very pretty You've got some fern on there just very nice colors very like muted and stuff like that so i picked up those two Sticking to the crafter square, I picked up this fabric. It's very pale and cute, like you can't even see it. <laughs> it's so light. Anyway, it's a super light gray with like these little arches all over them and it kind of looks like, like a single rainbow or scales. 
like reptile scales. I couldn't, I couldn't like really decide on what it looked like to me. Anyway, I did pick up two of those because it is so neutral. You can stain it, you can do whatever you want to it. And I think it'd be cute. So I got those two. All right, so this is what I was so excited about. When I went, what was out was actually put there last night because Alma called me last night and she's like, girl, you won't believe what they have. So I was almost gonna leave the house <laughs> and drive all the way out there. Now, mind you, I live a little further out. I live a little bit into the country. So I was gonna make my way all the way over there. And I was like, you know what? Let me not. <laughs> And so I went this morning, like 10 seconds before they opened the door. And then they had some of the items that I have been on the hunt for. First few items are actually going into the giveaway because I am still adding to that giveaway because how not, it's gonna be a ginormous size Dollar Tree for winner giveaway that like I have to do these spring markets to be able to afford to ship. That giveaway per winner is like, overloaded and I was actually going to stop adding things and then all of the magical stuff started coming out and then all of this started coming out and so like it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. These are going into the giveaway. They are the Crafter Square Scraper Tools for the Cricut Lovers. Oh M gosh. So I did pick up four for you guys and I picked up of course four for myself because I'd be wearing stuff out. Like there's no other explanation just aside from the fact that I'm rough with everything and I don't use anything for how it's supposed to be used and I destroy all the things. But that's why I pick them up for a dollar. So there's that, I got four for me and four for y'all. Next item that I picked up to throw into the giveaway is four of the Crafter Square Craft Spatulas. These are the metal spatulas that you are supposed to use to help you lift the vinyl up off of the mat and they did have like a pale blue and then the other one they had like a purpley kind of color i'm not, not i'm not a fan of purple so i didn't get those i just stuck with the white so that's what i got for you guys i got y'all four of the white and then i got four for myself they didn't have everything that i went in there for i actually went in there specifically for the heat transfer vinyl the glittery vinyl and then the permanent vinyl. Unfortunately, they didn't have those out, but they did have some of the removable, which I did grab a couple just because you can still use them and seal them and use them for other style things, but just not something long-term and, and permanent. So I did pick up two of the black rolls of vinyl. Now, to be clear, I actually pick up my heat transfer vinyl from a store on Amazon because you get a huge roll for a not a fraction, but for a really good deal. And so that's kind of like my jam. I actually wanted those other heat transfers because they were in a shimmery, a glittery kind of texture or pattern. That's why I wanted those because I wanted to test them out. I can't tell you what the price comparison is for these though. So here it is. It is the black removable vinyl and it comes with 12 inch by 48 inch. So you get a foot by four feet. That's not bad actually. Cause I believe Walmart has the everyday $5 rolls. And I wanna say, I wanna say it's 24 inches. So you're definitely getting your money's worth. And then I picked up two of the blue color. It's a nice kind of royally blue. And these are glossy. And then I picked up two of the reddish orange. It's red, but it's got like an orange tint to it. Cause you know, there's like different shades of red. This looks kind of like an orangey base red. Next is the removable white. Very cool. I can't wait to test these out guys. Now they also have the clear roll transfer tape. Now, Mind you, Dollar Tree also has shelf liner that a lot of people use as a transfer tape. I actually use a ginormous roll uh, that I also get from Amazon and it's like a paper tape and it works. So I just pick these up to have them on hand and give them a try. And then they also have the grid transfer tape. This transfer tape was 12 by 36 for the clear 
And then this one is 12 by 38 with the grid. So if you ask me, this one's probably the better bet because a lot of the times you want that grid to make sure that things are gonna be straight. So I did pick two of those up. So this I think was like the most exciting to me because I didn't even expect it. I was patiently waiting. I was there for about an hour as they were stocking up the school supplies. It looked like they were kind of working their way this way. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be here all day if I wait for them to get to the actual craft supplies. I asked her very nicely. I said, can I ask you a question? She's like, sure. I said, do you happen to know if there's any more of the vinyl products that y'all just put out, I believe yesterday, because right now y'all have the removable, but I believe there's a heat transfer and a permanent that I was looking for along with some of the other tools because the other tool that they give is the weeder with like the, the hook tip. And she's like, um, I don't know about that, but I do know that we have a faux leather. And I was like, a what? <laughs> she goes, we have a faux leather. And I was like, really? I had no idea. And she goes, yeah. She's like, do you want it? Do you want to see it? And I was like, yeah, that would be amazing. So guys, I picked up a ton of faux leather because I actually get my faux leather sheets. It's like a rectangle piece. I get them from Daiso and it's a buck fifty and these are a dollar and they have four different colors it's 11.75 by 20 inches of faux leather fabric this is awesome check that out oh my gosh junk journal lovers earring lovers bracelet lovers like can we just white the blue is like a super deep pretty blue it doesn't really look blue there it kind of looks black because of the light but it's definitely a very deep blue and then these are my two favorite there is the brown i have four okay but i'm just going to show you these two so there's the brown and the black and i think these are gorgeous so there goes a good look at the brown and here goes a look at the black you can see the texture on there Oh, um, gosh, guys, I didn't even know these were a thing. So I am super excited about it because y'all know I love junk journals. I love creating my CTP crossbodies. You don't know what that is. I have a, I have a planner playlist, a happy planner playlist, and I recently created one using cosmetic bags. Feel free to check out the playlist again, or you can look it up on Instagram. It's hashtag CTP crossbody. It's basically a planner crossbody or a planner that you turn into a crossbody bag. That's what it is. And so for me, these materials are like ideal because it goes with my style and it's affordable and that's amazing. So yeah, I picked these up. Okay, so what I was thinking earlier was I found these. Um, these are like the Mother's Day gift boxes, I guess for jewelry or something. And I did pick up six of them, of course, because you know, as soon as you see them, what do you think? You think like organizer, right? So I picked up six so I can do three and three or maybe two, two and two and then just create the dividing pieces that would actually hold it and turn it into like a drawer organizer. But when I saw these, I thought of the little square wood boxes that Dollar Tree sells with the little drawer. Now on one side of the drawer, there's like a butterfly or a heart or something like that. But if you turn the drawer, you'll have a solid backing. So what I was thinking was I could use this faux leather these pins or these tacks to make little leather handles on those little jewelry boxes and so now the idea is out there i'm sure somebody is either going to create it or has already created it but either way just for a few bucks you could have a gorgeous wood display and of course i would burn it because i love burnt wood so that's what mine is going to look like but i'm super excited fun little project that i can do super fast Okay, so it feels so good to be back having a fully functional camera, being able to talk to you guys and actually hear myself. I hope you guys are having a lot of luck out there. I am still supposed to be doing all of the market things and I'm not and I'm going to regret it. I know I am, but I don't know. This one's just not, it's not that I'm not motivated, right? It's just that I want to do other things. <laughs> And I feel like it's just a lot. So I am going to buckle down and get into that and then hopefully edit this at some point, maybe while I'm making dinner and then try
how to upload it for you guys. But that being said, I do hope you enjoyed. I hope you're finding some awesome things. If you enjoyed this, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what magical finds you are coming across and what we should all keep our eyes out for. If you find anything interesting in the playlist and you feel like you know people that are kind of like-minded and would love to see that content, share those videos with them. Share this one with them. It helps this channel grow. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out along with the notification bell to be notified of new videos whenever I do post. Also, you can follow me on my social medias on Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. Hashtag anything Bates House and we'll pretty much come up on all of the things. For now, guys, that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to The Bates House. Since you're new here, I'm supposed to use this one minute clip to tell you what kind of content you'll find here, but to be honest, you just never know. But what I can say about what you'll find here is that this channel is just a small percentage of a reflection of me and my family. We are hardworking, motivated people who strive to create peace in our space no matter how overwhelming it may seem. We are creative and in love with our creativity and want to inspire others through our life's journey. If you'd like to come along and be a part of that, then subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified of all the new videos whenever I do post. I always have the best of intentions to share information with you guys that you can actually utilize in your lives and just hope that we can create a community out of it going into this next year. See you guys soon. Bye.